Hello friends, today we are learning subtraction by renaming. Subtraction by renaming. Subtraction by renaming has other names like subtraction by borrowing, borrowing, subtraction by regrouping, or subtraction by carrying. Subtraction by carrying. These are other names that we call subtraction by renaming. We may call it subtraction by borrowing. Subtraction by regrouping and subtraction by carrying. To understand this subtraction by renaming, we need to understand how our place value system works. So let's do only the tens and unit, that is unit and tens. So unit means one and ten means ten group of one. So for example, our counting system goes like Z1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So when it gets to 10, they will be having 10 here. So that means when it gets to 10, we have 10 here. The same thing with our counting. Like if you count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can have this, but when it comes to a bundle, so that is 10 becomes a bundle. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we have it as a bundle like that. So that is when 1 is borrowed from this bundle and it gets to units, that means we have borrowed 10. And 10 will be added to the figure when it gets to units. So why and when do we apply subtraction by renaming? We apply subtraction by renaming when the figure on top that is under the unit, the figure on top is smaller than the figure below. Like we have three here and we have nine here. It is impossible for us to count three and take away nine. So because of that, we have to borrow one from here and we'll give it to units like this. So where we borrowed one, this is going to be five. And uh, here we now have 13. It is like that because units is 10, group 10 units make tens. So when we borrow from tens, I will give it to units, it becomes 10 when it gets to units. So instead of writing 10 plus 3 like this, equal to 13 when 1 is borrowed from 10s, uh, mathematicians like to just write only 1 beside it to make it 13. So it's the same thing as saying 10 plus 3 equal to 13 or you're writing 1 beside it to make it 13. Don't forget why we do subtraction by renaming. We do it because the figure on top is smaller than the figure below and it is impossible to count the figure on top and take away the figure below. So with this example now, we have 3, 3 cannot be counted and take away 6, so we have to borrow from 7, when we borrow 110, when we borrow 110, it becomes 10 here so that means here we have 10 plus 3 which is equal to 13 so we now have 13 taken away 6 so 13 taken away 6 is going to give us 7 and uh, here that we have borrowed 1 from so we are no more having 7 here because we have borrowed 1 from it so that is now left with 6 so 6 taken away 1 is going to give us 5 now let's do 90 take away 26 90 take away 26. So we we'll start from the units. So that is zero. It is we have zero here and we have six here. That means we need to rename. So we need to rename our tens here by borrowing one from it, and we'll borrow one from um nine, it becomes eight. We we'll give you one to this and then to make it ten. So that is ten take away. 6 
So when you do the math, it's going to get four, and eight take away two is going to give you six. So that is 64 is the answer, 64.